teacher what kind of learning she or he wants in the classroom. And the teachers can create lots of different interactive learning resources. So you can create your own resources using Nearport. Otherwise, we have you know a library, a Nearport library, from which the topics or the themes from different subjects can be taken, and that can be shared in our classroom. Then with Nearport, the students do you know well, the best part is they do not have to create their own accounts. You just start a lesson, and it provides you with a code. So that's how the students will just log into nearport.com and they will use that code to access what resources you want to share with them. And similarly, you can uh, you know share those resources uh, with the teachers also. So for example, if a teacher, if you suppose in a department there are seven teachers, you know, science teachers, you create a resource on Nearport and you can share it with the other teachers so that they themselves you know can use these resources in their classroom. So let, let's see if uh, you people can, uh, you know, all of you can just, uh, along with me, if you create your own resources, that's going to be wonderful. So we'll start off with nearport.com. Now, now, when you log into nearport.com for the first time, it asks you to sign up. Now, there are different options to sign up. You can sign up using your Google account also. And if you already are, you know, on... Uh, you know, let's say it's, uh, you know, Nearport platform, then you just need to log in. So if I may just log in, and then it asks me where, to which platform I want to log in. So I'll say, I'll just check on my Google account, and then I log in through my Google, right? So we just log into our Nearport account as a teacher, right? Because we are creating the resources. So we're going to log in through the teacher portal in there. Now, the Screen or the platform of Nearport, like I told you, it provides you with n number of predefined resources, and it also allows you to create your own resources. Right. So we will first learn how to create our own uh, a file or a slide share, and then how you can use these you know resources as well. Now, if I say create, and let's say lesson, that's how I want to create. I want to create a lesson which will be a combination of not only the slides, but it's also going to contain 3D, I mean, three-dimensional objects. It will also contain, I'll also be showing you how to add a virtual tour into my lesson and how to add activities in between the lessons to make it more interactive with the students. So let's start. Now, when you start with the lesson, you first have to give the lesson name so i am not going to take up any specific subject reason being that if i have to show a virtual tour some ssc uh, teachers geography teachers can have their own uh, you know uh, virtual tools added here and then with 3d i'll be showing you how to add uh, three dimensional objects related to science also with simulation i can show you examples of maths also so I'm not going to take a specific subject for this, so that you know it's comfortable with all the subject teachers that we have. So, for example, if let's say the title of my lesson is Nearport Lesson One, so I'm going to edit it. That's how you give your lesson, and we add contents. Now, you may have a presentation which you directly want to share with the students. Okay, if I have the presentation that I want to share with the students, then why do I need to have Nearport? Like I told you, you want to have a presentation shared with the student, but during the classroom, it should be teacher based. So you move on the slide on your screen, and the same content should be visible on the student's device. But the presentation is already created. So in that case, we will just upload the file. So you'll upload a file. And you can, you know, it gives you various options. So you can have it from a local file or you can get it from a drive or even for the cloud. So these are the options available from which predefined files or pre-created files can be added to your Nearport lesson. Let's add our own uh, contents here, whatever is possible in the Nearport. So let's say slide classic. Now, before uh, we proceed, let me just tell you that we are working on the Nearport platform, which is free. We are not working on the beta version. 
so it allows you in totality it allows you to have your contents up to 100 mb that 100 mb data storage can be allowed if you are working on the free version if you want to extend then it's the beta version so what we can do is whatever lessons are taken up in the class i can keep deleting those lessons and create new that can be done right so let's say uh, this is my first slide i want to add a slide and i want to add a picture let's say an image so we'll say uh, let's add an image and i'll search an image so here if i may say uh, nutrients okay suppose that's the topic i want to take for this so let's say this is the image i want to add and my topic is nutrients and food right just scroll down and save it you can also set the theme from here for your slide okay So that's the first slide that I have added in my lesson. Now, once your lesson, uh, this is the first content, the first slide that has been added. Again, click on add new and let's add a video. Right? So when you click on video, it gives you, uh, let's say, uh, there are certain uh, videos which are already there. And as per your requirement, you can select. So this is the video library, the Nepal video library. You can have it according to your subject also. So for example, if I'm working on science and you can go for the grade also. So let's say only for eighth grade. So it filters the data, right? So whatever videos are available in the Nepal library, we can use those videos. So here, for example, if I say digestion and I search, these are the videos which are available for the topic digestion. So I can take any video. Now, I can have a video URL from YouTube also. Then why to take from here? Like why, why I to select from here? The reason is that whatever videos are available, can you see these? These are the blue pointers. So whatever video is available in the Nairport library, you have the pointers. So let's say, at 1.01 second or 1 minute 01 second, you have a pointer which is a multiple choice question. So when the child plays the video and reaches to this point, a multiple choice question is given to the child. Now you can edit this question. The question here, which is predefined question, the question that says is, what makes yogurt so powerful? These questions are based on the video that you have selected. Okay. So what happens is when the child sees the video, in between questions are there for him to answer. But you can edit these questions and you can put your own question and answers as well. Right. So this is one feature and this is one advantage of adding the video from the Nairport library. It gives you the videos along with the questions so that you know that the child has understood or the child is understanding what the video wants to explain you know uh, showing the video a 10 minutes video to a child and then at the end of the video you're asking the questions probably is not that much interactive wherein you know after every one minute let the child i, I do that so you know let the child answer after every one minute different kinds of questions and you do not have to worry about making the questions also because whatever contents are there in the video the questions are available but yes, if you want to change the questions, you can do that by editing it. So how we go about, let me just show you again. So this is, uh, I'll cancel it. Okay. So this was my Nairport presentation.
I want to add. I want to add a video which is available in Nearboard Library. I think something went wrong. Let me just cancel it and try. It. Okay. So this was the first slide I had added. I want to add more contents. So I will click on add and I will click on video. So when you click on video, you're going to search for the video that you want, the topic that you want. So for example, if my topic for the class is digestive system, I will search for it. It gives you the videos which are available in the Nairport library and you can add that video so just click on it okay and here it shows you the pointers so we have an open-ended question for this video we have one mcq another mcq true false form another mcq so we have in totality five questions for this three minutes and 47 seconds video so once you've selected the video you can also trim this you don't want the child to view the whole video so you can use this trim option to trim the video to reduce the time and then you save it so once you save this gets added to your lesson this video gets added to your lesson now another thing that you can add is so for example if i may say i have a video which i have selected from uh, youtube and i want to add my own video to the content so So in that case, what you're going to do is you're going to click on add contents and we'll select the third option that says web content. So video will allow you to upload a video which is available in the Nearport library and web content will allow you to post a link. Now that link can be, it can be a YouTube video, it can be a PDF that you want to share with the child, it can be any content, online content and you just have to post the link so that the content is available to the child. So, for example, if not YouTube, I'll go to Google and I'll say, I want the resources for digestive system. I want a PDF on digestive system. So I'll just type here, digestive system. And let's say, if suppose, this is the link I want to share with the students. So basically, you know, or maybe something else. Let's just check it out. So any web content that you want to share with the students can be done by adding the web content. Now, web content URL you're going to take, you're going to copy it. You're going to click on web content. It will ask you to copy the link here. So once you paste your link here, it will also, you know, it gives the... Uh, option of testing this link whether it is working properly or not so you can use this option to test your link to open your file whether it is working or not and then you save it so these are two different options video library and web content video library is video getting the videos or you know your mp4 in the form of mp4 uh, wmv or mov from the nearpod library and web content can be any kind of web content, any file, be it a PDF, a document, a PPT, which is available online. And you just have to provide the URL of that. So that the child can open it and can study at his own pace. Right? So let's move on to the next one, which is an airport 3D. That's my favorite. So how to add, a, how to give a 3D uh, you know, object or how to add a three-dimensional to your lesson. So there are a few, you know, uh, 3D objects available based on the topics here in the Nairport library. So let's talk about environment and or let's say uh, human body. I'm talking about digestive system. So I can select this one. So you select a 3D object and you say done. This gets added to your Nairport lesson. Now, when the child is 
or when you are explaining this lesson in your class, you have the first slide that contains an image, second, a video to be viewed by the child, third, a web content, a link of the web content, and fourth, a 3 d Let's say it takes 10 minutes to explain all these concepts. After 10 minutes, I want to check whether the child has actually understood what I am teaching. So the next thing we're going to do is when I say add content, I will not add the content. I'll add an activity. So these are different activities that you can add in your lesson. Try to, you know, time to climb. So what happens in time to climb is you provide n number of questions. It's just like, you know, uh, who moves ahead? So there's a race and who is, you know, uh, taking ahead or who is, you know, first in the race. So that's what it allows you to do. So let's say uh, if the question here is the process of breaking down food particles or complex food particles in simple form is called, and I say dash, right? And I am giving an option, one says respiration, another says digestion, and let's have a third option here. So I'll add an answer. So let's say circulation. Out of these, whatever is the correct option, you're going to put a tick on it. So that's your first question for the child. After all these 10 minutes of learning, I'm going to put a quiz for him. So that's the first question in the quiz. Add another question. So we'll say add question. So let's say the process of digestion, the process of digestion starts now. It starts in. Let's say I'll say mouth and then I'll say liver. So you want to add another option, add answer, and you can say stomach. So this is my answer. So I'm going to put a tick in. Again, add another question. Let's say there are dash kind. kinds of teeth so three kinds of teeth four kinds of teeth two kinds of teeth so there are four kinds of teeth that's all i don't want to add any other uh, you also have an option so you can uh, you know give a reference image to the child so if i may say identify the image so let's add an image here and let's say liver. Okay. So that's the image given and then you can give the options here. Stomach. Liver. Or let's say brain. Great option is to you have one question we have okay we do not have any question here so you can delete it or any of the question that you've created and you you don't want to keep that question there's this option of deleting also you can copy a question you can duplicate a question and then you can edit it so i am deleting this one so in all we have four questions one two three and four right Towards the end, you will save it. There's this blue box here, so we'll save this. This is my first activity for the child. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Sorry, ma'am, disturbing. Yes, yes, Rajin. No, ma'am, uh, there is someone uh, has shared the screen, so uh, we are not able to save it. You are not able to? Yes, so my Supriya Sharma. Uh... Gurpreet, sir, I think somebody has shared. Yes. Yes, one second, one second.
Ma'am, you please reshare your content once. I do. Hi, ma'am. It's done. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Repeat, sir. Is it visible? No, ma'am. I'll resume. Okay. Yes, it's now coming. Okay. So, uh, could you please let me know? Do I need to explain this again, or was this uh, clear to how to use it time to time? Last, last tip, ma'am. Last tip. Last tip. Okay. What I'll do is uh, uh, that picture you added, na? That picture you added, it will try to give the option. How to how that. to add how to add a picture? Also. Okay, I'll add another one. So let's say uh, how to add a picture. I'll show you. So we'll move to the activities. Time to time, the options were clear to you how to add the options. But what I said was that you can also have an activity along with the picture. So you can have a question to which you, the child can refer to an image also. So let's say, uh, for example, here it says, uh, identify the image. Right. So I can also give, there's an option here that says add reference image. So you can click on this and let's say you want to give the image of stomach. And the child has to identify what image is this, right? So you can select an image and save it and then you can write your options here so let's say a liver say brain or add an option stomach so whatever is the correct option you just select and then you keep adding the questions right so so this is how you can add an image also in reference to your questions. Is, is it clear? Rajendra sir, is it fine? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma and then you Thank save. You. There is this option. This is okay. There is this button uh, of saving it. So whatever questions you have put here in the time to climb activity, you're going to save it. Okay. I already have saved this activity, so I am not going to save this. But you will just click on the save button to save your activity. So that is the first activity of your Nepod lesson. Now let's add some more contents to it. So I'll click on add content. So we had this uh, simulation here. Now simulation is you, you know, through experiments you want to, and you know, when you're performing an experiment, let's say in chemistry, the chemicals that you're taking. So if I take uh, two percent of uh, uh, NaN, and you know, and if I take this much quantity of Cl, and if I add, then what happens? Or let's say, uh, if I uh, say that finding out the area of a math in, in math, if I want to find out the area, let's see that kind of simulation. It also gives you the options. Uh, let's say elementary school math or elementary school science, because these are the two main subjects, uh, which you know uh, actually are better so that simulations can be used. I don't want any kind of simulations in subjects like SSC or economics or pole science. So let's say math elementary school and let's say area builder, right? So I'll go for area builder game. I'll show you how it works also. I'll delete this and add a game. So you're going to click on um, add content and simulation let's say elementary math. Now, once you've selected this, you want to see how it works. There's an option called preview. So you just preview it. So how basically it works, uh, every unit here in this, in, I'm talking about this particular simulation. So let's say level one, uh, we want to build it. Every square in this particular area is taken as one unit. So when you are adding one unit, uh, you know how mathematical may area and perimeter is calculated. So see. Just one second. Okay. So there, every square counts one unit. So let's say if I bring it here and maximize the screen also. And if you, so basically see. 
what you are going to do it is giving you the area and perimeter both as per what you are adding so let's say this is what i have added so 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 right so 1 into 4 so what is area 4 in uh, that's 4 meter square right and the perimeter of square is 4 into 2 so 4 into 2 8 so yes bro is my screen visible I can I please request everyone to mute themselves, please? Ma'am, your screen is visible and you are audible. Yes, yes ma'am, your screen is visible. Okay. So this is how, you know, and this is the experiment that you are not going to do to, uh, on your end. The child will do this and will understand how this area and the perimeter changes. So let the child keep dragging the units and the perimeter and area changes. So you explain to him how it is changing. Because every square, for every square, the area is counted as, or for every rectangle, if I create a rectangle here, see. So let's say if I form a rectangle. So according to the counts, what is the length? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So five into three. This is the breadth is five units. And the length is three units. So five into three, 15. So you get the area 15. And perimeter is two into L plus B. So 2 into 3 plus 5, that's 8. 2 8 is 16, so you get perimeter 16. And, you, you know, you, the child can keep adding and keep exploring how the area and the perimeter changes for different figures. So that's a simulation that you can add for mathematical elementary class. And similarly, you also have for other classes, like you have for seniors. And so next activity that I'm going to add is uh, VR, virtual field trip. So, for example, if I want my children, if I'm teaching them something about Greece or something about, you know, uh, about the monument, so I can go for Taj Mahal. So these are predefined VR uh, available, virtual tools available. So you can choose any one of them if it fits into what you are teaching in the class. So, for example, let me select this one only, the Santorini Islands and Greece, and then you click on Done. So a virtual tour has been added into your lesson plan. Let's add a, an activity now. So we already had a time to climb activity. The next activity I'm going to add, you can have an open-ended question also. So you give a question and the child answers to it. Those answers you can collect. Okay, I'll add a matching pair here so that we can all perform this activity. I'll come to open-ended towards the end. Now how to add a matching pair? It's basically uh, the child, you know, you're going to give, let's say, add pair. And I can have a text here. So let's say, if I say vitamins, right? And I'll search for the image and vitamins, basically fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamins. So I'll search for an image here, say. So see, I have created a pair. So the child has to match. So when you know fruits and uh, vegetables are good in vitamins. You can add another pair. So I'll click on add another pair. I can add an image this side. So now if I say uh, bodybuilding food. Okay. So you search on bodybuilding food. Let's see what images you get. So, okay. These ones. Right. And here, let's say bodybuilding food means proteins. So I'll add a text here that will say proteins. Okay, add another pair and let's say carbohydrates. And I'll add a text here only now. I won't I don't want to add image. So carbohydrate energy giving food. Right, add another pair. So let's say here I'll add text that says uh, balanced diet. Okay. And there I'll add another text that will say all nutrients. Right. And when I'm done with all these pairs, let's say I only want four pairs, I'll click on done. 
and then see you have now four pairs one two three four you can keep adding the pairs if you want and you click on save so now that's your second activity which is matching the pairs so you add another activity into your player so when the child finishes with the previous lesson content the next activity will be the matching pair okay another add content so let's add a content here uh, now bbc uh, you know has provided with a few videos which you can select uh, you know if you talk about democracy so athens and democracy videos are available uh, emperor penguin so you know or based on innovation and technology if you want to show a video so these are all the videos which are provided by bbc so you can select any one of these and let's say done so you are you've added a bbc video now uh, it doesn't mean that you keep adding or we should add all these contents it's just different varieties can be added so maybe in one lesson you can have a airport video in the other lesson you can have a video from bbc right then sway now you can create your own sway or you can create your own presentations or we also have a library that provides you with you know some sway uh, your presentations so let's say if i talk about pyramids so this is a sway or you can create your own sway and you can add it to your nearport lesson or you can select from the categories which are available here right so i'll go for famous landmarks for example and big ben england so add sway so this way you can add a sway presentation also into your nearport lesson okay again add content and let's say another activity so we've had a matching pair let's have a quiz okay so let's say uh, if i uh, let, let me just add only three questions in the quiz so the first question that says uh, proteins no, uh, i'll give it as an option so let's say bodybuilding food so you can say carbs or you can say proteins and then you can have another option if you want i'll have only two so i'll click here add another question i'll say fats are energy giving food right and let's say true false so true or false so i guess it's a true option so true and then add one more question here so for example the next one that says uh, vitamins and minerals are protective food so true or false false and true it's true and once you've added all your questions you're going to save it so that's another activity that you've added for your students it's a quiz okay and now next what i'm going to add is i'm going to add another content here uh okay now slide show means you already have prepared a presentation and directly the ppt is you want to add here so you can add a slide show using this option so it will ask you to upload so either from your drive or from your uh, local or from cloud cloud you can you know add your uh, slide show or uh, another thing that can be added is the audio so you want your you know sometimes what happens is we want our students to listen to an audio clip uh, audio uh, you know and then you keep asking you know the questions based on that so you want the child to un, uh, you know listen to a particular audio recording so you can add an audio and if you want the child to view a pdf file so you can click on pdf review and you can click you know upload from your local or from your drive so these are three options that you can give it to your child you can have a slide show audio or pdf which already have been prepared by you so these are about the contents that you can add and about the activities which are left uh, let's say if you prepared uh, some material some uh, you know assessment on flipgrid so you can use this flipgrid option to add the link of your flipgrid here so when you click on flipgrid it will ask you to add the link of your resources that you prepared so you can just give your link here okay another activity that you can add is uh, matching the pair okay so or fill ups also so let's say add and go to activities we'll have a draw it first 
you must have used droid uh, uh, platform in your classrooms you know you just give a topic this is a, a software application web based application droid you can use that so that understand what the child think if you give him a term or a word the child has to draw right so it's just like uh, let's say draw it you give you can add an image also for the reference and let's say if i ask the child to draw uh, a protective book that's you know that's totally his imagination or that's totally his choice what he wants to add okay and you want to give a background to this i prefer leaving it white because when the child draws you know uh, the, the whatever he's drawn is clearly visible here okay and uh, then you want to add something to it you can add an image or you can add in a video or an audio uh, if you want to refer so let's say uh, balance right okay suppose that's what i want to search for so i'll take an image here whatever is available and then you save it so this activity you can also have timer added so let's say you're giving 2 minutes or you give you only 1 minute to the child to draw if you don't want to make it time based you don't add time code. okay save it so that's one more activity that can be added into your lesson plan then let's move on to the next one so add content and activities back to activities collaborate though. now this is uh, you all must have worked on it you know so to get the feedback not only the feedback but to understand what are you, whatever i am teaching in the class there may be certain topics which may be difficult which are not under you know the child is not able to understand those topics you want to get a list of those topics or you've taken a session and you want the feedback on that session so whatever is that's collaboration so let's say uh near fourth session okay and then i'll say the session Pause and let the child write. Okay, and then you can design. You can. This is the pre. Uh, let's say if this is the wall design I want. Okay, and then save it. So collaboration means the child keeps adding. It's only not only one student's feedback or one child's uh, uh, you know material that is being added. All the students in your class will keep adding the resources here. Now these resources can be in any form. Can be in images as well. You will be able to see. when uh, you know i'll give you a link and you'll be able to add. now next is poll so you want to have a poll in your you know classroom lesson so let's say the question here is that today's session was and then you give an option so let's say today's session was and i am saying not interested interested it's a not useful you can keep adding so that's the poll i have and you can have your images also if you want to add so save it so you're creating a poll also in your classroom okay and then we come to the last activity no, second last so you can have the fill ups also added in the same way so let's say fill in the blanks Now here, let's say the all the nutrients are present in appropriate amount. in let's say balanced or unbalanced diet okay and then you click on next so what all options you want it says click on the words on the right to add the word blank so let's say balanced and let's say unbalanced okay done now you'll be able to see how it works when it goes to the child 
So I'll show you that as well. And then last activity which the child actually enjoys is a memory test. Okay, I'll give a, I'll take a memory test of only images, so you can do that as well. And grid sizes, you can have six pairs, you can have eight pairs, you can have twelve pairs. So that's totally your choice. So let's say uh, balance right. And I am selecting this image. I'll drag it for this. So it makes a pair. Okay. Then let's say proteins. And I'll select this image. So that's my second pair. Okay. Carbohydrates. And third pair. And let's say digestive system. my fourth pair and let, let's have only four pairs okay and then done okay by default it says six so let's make it six respiratory system and fruits and vegetables Okay, you, you want to increase, so you can increase your grid size also. And done. Okay, see, this is what happens. It says the presentation exceeds 40 MB size limit per presentation of your account. So I don't want to upgrade. So I will not take this in. I'll show you otherwise how it works. Okay. Okay. So I hope these are all the activities that we've covered all the contents how to add and how to have the activities except for memory test i'll show you how it works otherwise now once your lesson plan is done once this lesson plan is done you're going to save and exit so you're going to save and you're going to exit so your lesson is saved okay now how to share it with your students or how to share it in the class so Now, this uh, it exceeded the uh, memory, so I'm going to delete my previous lesson. So, how to delete it? Just click here and then delete it. So this was the previous lesson that I created. I'm deleting it. Okay. Now, it says live participation and student pace. If I give it student pace, that means you are sharing this lesson with the student, and you know he or she can. Uh, go through this lesson and the activities according to his pace. I want a live participation, so I'll click on live participation. You're going to ask the students to simply open the URL nearpod.com. Now, when the child opens it, it will ask the child to you know, uh, join a lesson and a, a code also. So may I request everyone to please uh, log into or just uh, open the URL nearpod.com if you haven't as yet. So that you can see as per the student's point of view perspective how it will work. So when you click on uh, nearpod.com, you're going to add this code here. Okay, so please if you could add this code. Please do so. Please add this code into your nearpod. It asks you to add a code. I'll do it from my the other device also. Are we done? Are we started? Should we? Okay. Have you all added the code? So that I can start with the lesson. Now, when you open it, it says students and join a lesson. So you're going to click on join a lesson, and then it will ask you to add the code. 
So this is the code that you will be adding. So that's N G K D S. So N G K D S. Okay. And then click on the arrow. Now, when you click on the arrow, it will say, "Wait for the teacher to start the lesson." I believe that's what it says. Right? You are going to give your full name. Can I have office? Because I will be requiring your names. I want to show how the reports will be prepared. You can get the reports also. So just get get your uh, names adequately. I don't want the nicknames, only the names. Now, can you all see this nutrients in food slide on your device? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, yes, you, if you see, as a student, you cannot move that unless and until I move it on my screen. So when I move on my screen. on your device also you move on to the next content do you see that now this video has opened yes 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 okay so now it says this is a video how should it play so there are two options either the teacher plays on her device somebody is unmuted please thank you the option is that either the teacher plays this video on her device and the questions the, the child can see the video here and then the questions will appear on his device or the other option is that the student plays so you can have any of these options as per what your convenience so if you want that the child should play this video i have made it child plays now can uh, is it that uh, all of you can play the video yes ma'am we can play it Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It is visible and audible too. Nice video. Yes, ma'am. I can also see the video. Okay. It's visible and audible. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. i guess there's some connection issue so we can hold for a minute and wait for her to come back uh ma'am uh, i have a question uh, can i ask now um, she is we... logging back again she is logged out some some network issue she is she'll be joining in at the post by that time uh, sir so gurpreet sir i am not able yes yes ma'am welcome back okay yes. i'm sorry because there's a power cut here so i've used my hotspot okay uh, okay so all of you share the screen again i i'm doing it sir just one second uh, there is one question ma'am uh, the, the, yes, ma the questions which are there in between the videos Uh, yes, ma'am. Are they there already there in the video, or you have uh, put up the questions? No, they are already there, ma'am. I showed you now that when you select a video, the questions are already there. There is an option of edit right. also, so you can edit those questions in case if you don't want those questions. All right. Thank so you. So as per the content of the video, the questions are already framed there. So that that's what you know. We prefer Nepot because uh, uh, you know uh, it actually saves that time of framing the questions also. Right, ma'am. Uh, Gurpreet sir, is my screen visible? Gurpreet sir. Yes, ma'am. It is visible. Please click okay. yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the teacher, unless and until the teacher moves on to the next, this video or a part will be visible to the student. So according to his or her pace, the child will play the video. So now when I click on next, see, uh, it changes on your screen as well. Yes. that's what happens so now your screen has the next screen that i have here which is a pdf which is the link that i gave so you it says click here to open the web page so you can click and open the web page if you want and i'll move on to the next yes, one sir. the next yes the next one i i told you now it's a 3d object i added so now you know on your device you can zoom in and zoom out please do so please try doing it on your device 
and the teacher explains on her end and the child can keep exploring so for example the teacher says that this is a digestive system which starts from the mouth and then the esophagus so this is a long tube now when the teacher talks about long tube the child can you know just zoom in, zoom out and see that the esophagus you know what kind of tube it is and then you know the liver and the stomach so a 3d object added to your presentation and it is open on the child's device and he or she can actually work with this 3d object so right. how did you give this control to us uh, from your end uh, ma'am when i uh, yes, I, ma this I, is a great feature ma'am <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, when I shared this presentation, uh, there was this option called student share, uh, share with the students, live participation. Uh, it says uh, teacher control page. So when that is what it has near pod. So whatever comes on teacher screen is visible. So the, the neighbor has this feature that you will be able to play on your own pace, but the screen remains only till it is, you know, visible on the teacher's device. So if I move on to the next one, you will, you will be only able to play with this 3D object till it is visible on my screen, on my device as a teacher. So when I click on next, see, the next one that you have is, one second, it is taking time. Okay, what all can you I see just... on your device, may I know? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, just wanted to ask okay. one thing. Yes, uh, when you were sharing this content with the student, like with yes, us, so uh, did you click that student one or teacher's one that whether students are able to uh, no, play it or the teacher's page? I clicked on teacher's page. That is why when okay. I am moving, it is moving on your device. Okay, right. thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. So uh, no, next is your activity. You all see time to uh, crime settings. Can we all select? Okay. So now it says uh, time to crime. So please uh, select and uh, okay. Continue. Now when I say continue, you're you're getting a few characters here. Can you please add uh, or select a character of your choice? Any character. And please, as if you see my screen. Whenever you are, uh, you know, clicking on that character, I can see that so many participants are added. And I can see, uh, you know what, you can also make out how many students have joined your class. So uh, as of now, only 26 have joined. I can see their names also. If you see my screen, just see what I'm presenting. At the bottom, it says 26. And it says hide student's name or show student's name. So you can have that option also. So I can see out of uh, 76 participants, ex uh, I'll exclude three. Uh, so out of 73 participants, only 26 have joined. And I can see their names also. And 11 players are connected right now. So I'll start. So when I click on start, the activity starts on your device. So let's quickly answer the question, please. You will click on start and you start the activity. Click on start. The process of the first question is here. So you have three questions to answer. done so it will wait for all the climbers if you see my screen they are climbing the hill so that's what it says time to climb so utma yes 1807 and then uh, Miss Kiran and then, okay, Miss Kiran, uh, first position. 
Miss Archana second, followed by Miss Shivali. Great. And the last question, if I have. And it's a time based activity also. So the quicker you are, the more points you get. Seema, ma'am, Kalash, sir, what happened? You've not started with the activity, you joined, but you did not answer. Now, if you could just see. Ma'am, I think I, uh, I missed the first, first two questions, but uh, others I have answered. OK. <laughs> Great. So if you see on your screen, you have the first, second, and third positions. So Ms. Kiran, Ms. Archana, and Ms. Mamta. Congratulations to the winners. So let's move on to the next one. So once I move to the next one, the next content that we have is the simulation. So now when you have this mathematical simulation, like we said that it is, uh, I have taken the one which is finding out the area. So you can, you know, have those uh, blocks you can on your own if you could just put the blocks here and see the child is going to put the blocks here and see how the area changes and the teacher will keep explaining that why this change is there so if it's a square and i have four blocks the area is going to be four and the perimeter is going to be eight right and similarly if it's a rectangle it's going to be two into l plus b the perimeter and you know l into b as the area that is where the area is six because two is a length and three is the breadth. So the child, you you are going to keep the blocks. Your I mean, you can't see what I mean on your device. If I am making this rectangle, you are not able to see this rectangle on your device. You have to keep adding the blocks. It is for you to see how the area and perimeter changes when you are changing the figure. So it's basically the child working on the length and the breadth or the blocks that need to be added. So you are only explaining why there is a change in the area, but the child will do this on his or her own. So it's a simulation that we have added. So when I click on next. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, what was the purpose of the icons on the uh, which were given on the right hand side? Ma'am, which one? There were some icons. Just one second. Let me come back. Which ones, ma'am? I, I can't see. Uh, ma'am, uh, there was a bowl in the between and the right hand side. Yeah, these okay. icons. Ma'am, here, you know, you can, if you click, ha, huh, so these icons, nah? so in case you want for two different figures or two different grids, if you want, then you can have these two different grids. This is one grid, then that's the second grid, in case okay. you have two grids. Right, ma'am? So, the next, Hanji. Okay, okay ma'am, okay. Okay, then is the virtual tool. So on your own device, you can see the uh, island in Greece. So you can roam around and the teacher keep explaining, you know, uh, in case if you know about the uh, rock material or about the place here. So the child can keep exploring on his own, can move around on his own, and the teacher can keep explaining. So you don't have to, the child doesn't have to wait for the teacher to move this virtual tool on her device. You can do it yourself. The child can do it himself or herself also. So what, what, how is it useful? You ask the child, I am giving you one minute's time. Just quickly take a tour of this place and then I'll ask you a question based on it. So the child will take a tour on it. You know, the, you don't have to give a tour to the child. The child will take a virtual tour of the place and then based on that, you can have the questions. That's one way you can use this. Otherwise, there are any number of ways, uh, you know, we can have it. So that's your uh, virtual tour that you have added for the child. And the child can explore this place on his or her own. Ma'am, can we upload this virtual tour from somewhere else also? Because suppose if we are teaching any subject and uh, the it is not there in the Nearport library. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, you can do that also. But for that, you can, uh, you know, if it's already there on your device, then you need to upload from your device. So I had shown you now video uploading from your device. Or a virtual tour can be also uploaded or resources can be uploaded from your device. So in that case, you can choose that option. There are options available for that as well. Okay. Th that is, we can add uh, to that library. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Then, uh, 
and they can be a vessel more of the digestion digestive system also <laughs> from the mouth to the yes to the esophagus to the yes. stomach to the small intestine that that you know that's what the the beauty of this you know education field is aap virtual tour ka place ka nahi aise now you told ki ek system ka bhi hum karwa sakte hain fair enough so we can have that video and the child can go through it also right ma'am Okay, so the next one is the uh, mash activity. Now, how you are going to the child is going to do is you are going to click on let's say protein, and then you are going to click on the correct option you feel is correct. Okay, so let's say protein ka whatever you feel is the correct option, you can please uh, click on that option. Okay, so quickly I'll give you a minute's time to do this, please. Ma'am, when I click on proteins, I'm not getting anything else. Ma'am, you will click on protein once, and no. then you will click on the correct option. Okay. Am I not getting? Huh. I click on protein. Hmm. And then you then click I'm... on. I'll tell you. You click on protein, and then you click on there is this image. That is the correct answer for protein. Hey, na. वो एक इमेज है प्रोटीन का यू क्लिक ऑन दैट देन इट मैचेस द राइट साइड बॉडी बिल्डिंग टाइप या ऑल राइट यस ऑल राइट ऑल आर यू एबल टू डू दैट नाउ मैम इज डन मैम डन या and see the teacher as a student if you see my screen the teacher knows that you know so and so child has got four correct and how many tries in five tries ठीक है, so it also shows you the score of individual child here, right? Now if I move on to the next one, now this contains a video. Where would you like to play this video? Only on your device or on all the devices? I want everyone to see this video on his or her own. So I am making it on all devices. So you can play this video on your device. The child can play this video on his or her device. so this is a video that was selected so you can play it on your device okay and then you tell the child i'll give you 2 minutes to see this video and then we'll have a discussion on this then click on next uh ma'am and the next there's one question yes ma'am uh, ma'am can the students do this using their mobile as well like with laptop it's so easy ma'am i'm doing it on no 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 i am we are doing it on a mobile uh, mobile only I am also doing it as a student ka base, so I am doing it on a mobile. It okay. is not a compulsory one that you have to use a laptop only. Okay. Right, ma'am. Okay. And the next one we had selected was a sway. So this was a sway presentation on Big Bang. So you can explain, you know, whatever uh, contents that need to be explained. And the child can also explore this presentation on his or her own pace. So you can move through it, and the teacher can keep exploring. So explanation is also done, and the child is actually going through this presentation according to so whatever slides he want to see, can see it. Then I click on next, and next is a quiz. How can we move to another uh, slide in Sway because it is not uh, moving to another page in my uh, near pod uh, that as a student which I've moved it. You just scroll yeah. up. Scroll down just the scroll. Scroll down the screen. Scroll up. It's not like you know left and right. Just scroll up and down. No, no. Actually, you have stopped sharing it. That is why I'm not clicking it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the next one is a quiz, I believe. Can we all attempt the quiz? Okay. And if I move on to the next one. it says protective food what was it okay one more thing one more feature is that with the, you know when you are explaining in the class you can open a white board directly and then you can you know uh, you know whatever contents you want to explain you can do that so the white board can be opened directly in uh, your name board okay now the next one is uh, drawing yes I can see the poem, ma'am. Okay, see, see my screen. It says that is Shabrai progress, and who has submitted? I can see that he or she has submitted also. So, the next one is drawing. So you could please all draw. So, 
so this is you have given the topic to the child and the child will draw so whatever the child draws is available to you here okay now when i move on to the next one the next one will be i think it was fill in the blanks no it's a collaborative now here when you open a collaborate board it asks you do you like to approve the student comments before they post it i don't want to approve i i trust my students and i know whatever they are posting will be appropriate so here the session was uh, you can either type let's say uh, was great and then you can post or you can also have an image here you have can you see this image option here you can click on image and let's say if i say was uh, let's say awesome and uh, whatever you want to and you get an image based on that or how was your day it was fine how how is your mood happy so you can have that image also you select an image and then you save it and then you post it right so you can have the images also posted right and then we move on to the next one which is a poll so the you can all you know give a poll here so today's session was you can give a poll okay can you all see the polling the uh, screen on your device yes sir okay. yes ma'am and then you move on to the next one and the next one is i think fill up So can you quickly answer? Yes, quickly answer to that. The child will answer, and you will get the answers and the replies here. So I can see, you know, you're answering to it, and I can see the score also. Right. Now this is the last slide of the session of your uh, lesson. So you want a report of it. When I say report, you want to see how many. Uh, what was the uh, you know even in percentage it says how many were correct answers how many were incorrect and how many did not attempt the answers so you can have a full report here mailed to you so how you can do you can just click on this down arrow and you will go to reports now this report can be mailed to you so when you click on mail an assessment report of this presentation will be sent to your email account whatever email account you have used to log into this session the complete assessment report will be mailed okay and how to end your session now when you end your session on your device it ends on the child's device also so click on the down arrow and end session so are you sure you want to end this session yes right so when you end the session on your device the session gets ended on the child's device as well now this is what i have created this is my uh, uh, you know lesson otherwise you have nearpod library also that gives you n number of lessons you can have the subject based you can have the grade based and these are all pre i mean all, every lesson is pre created so you can use these as well so you want to tell them something about international literacy day you can directly use this it can be a video it can be a pdf it can be a complete lesson integrated lesson so you just have to explore this right so you have videos also available you have activities you have lessons n number of resources are available with uh, nearpod so you can use these resources now reports you can get like i told you the report is going to be mailed on your email id also but if i say you know go to reports for which lesson do you want to report uh, want the report for so for example i want the report for this particular lesson so there were 30 students who had attended my class who were there you know for this class and out of those 30 also if i click on session uh, uh, one it will give me an elaborate report so it's taking time see students participation correct answer ratio so you know correct answer 36 percent and that's for the first one that you have right and then you have quiz poll you know individually also for every activity for quiz this was the percentage and individual child it is giving you the report for poll this was the report for individual child so for every activity for every individual child you get the report 
and it actually helps you to analyze your lesson and even your contents right and you also know then how many uh, you know students were attentive in your class right so this is one thing that it provides you so you have these reports which are really useful and then there are teacher resources uh, nearport provides you with uh, videos that allow you to understand and to learn how you know uh, if there are certain webinars you can attend those webinars or how to uh, get the quick access to the videos so all these videos are available how to create an airport lesson finding lessons launching a lesson so whatever we have done in today's session you all can go through these videos as well right so n number of resources are provided you also have a airport community you can join this community so that you can have interaction with the other teachers as well uh that's all from my side because i mean this is what nearport is about and uh, believe in me it is a very very powerful tool which if you you know have your lessons using nearport the children are really going to enjoy they're going to enjoy because it's basically an integration of different kinds of resources different kinds of platforms being used along with it activity and the lessons so they are going to enjoy this uh any question any query excuse me ma'am yes ma'am it was a wonderful demonstration from your side Thank and you, a very very interesting and interesting and engaging uh, session one question that i would like to ask i i think this the beginning part of the seminar how do we log in to neopod do we need i mean with a gmail account or uh, any... you you can have see when, when you just click on uh, neopod.com it act uh, wait uh, okay so when you just say you know nearport.com it will ask you to either sign up or log in so if you need to sign up you can sign up using your fb account or even your google account or uh, you know uh, you can create an account on nearport the way other platforms allow you i am already logged in let me just log out so you can use i mean it's always uh, good i am always using my google account to uh, go for see this is when you click on nearport.com it says sign up for free or log in so if you're using it for the first time sign up for free and then it uh, you know asks you whether you want to sign up using your google account or you want to create a new account so you can do it i are you a teacher or a student so let's say a teacher and then you can use your google account you can either create an account here better use your google account i always use that uh, ma'am right question yeah. yes ma'am uh, ma'am uh, you mentioned 100 mb space in free version so all the videos uh, yeah every activity whichever 3d model you import in your uh, account in your tutorials are they part of those that 100 mb that yes. that space is consumed in yes. that yes 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 ma'am and one more thing is uh, you know you can always have uh, like i showed you your report so you can have that report also downloaded uh, they do send you the report of your lesson in case if you want otherwise you can download that report also so it gets downloaded uh, you know in pdf format and you can also have your you can i show you one more thing let me just log in uh like i told you you share this lesson so in case you are deleting something but you want to keep those resources mm -hmm. with you you can share the lesson with the other teachers so for example if this is my lesson okay uh, if suppose this is my lesson i am going to share with the teachers so how are you going to share with the teachers it will provide you with a link the teacher can only view the lesson and it's only viewable or can edit also so you can use this link also you can email it to somebody the complete lesson you can mail it or you can use the link as well or you also can have a pdf so if you click on export pdf it will export your lesson to a pdf format so that for future use also that in case if you are deleting something at least for future use also you will have this saved right ma'am uh, any other query thank you ma'am good evening ma'am ma'am uh, good evening ma'am 
Ma'am, uh, when we make it a PDF, then video and simulations are doubt they'll okay. not be. They right. they will no. You will only have a link of it. You won't be able to uh, play those. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, sir, I think. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, no ma'am. It was really a powerful yet easy to understand web tool, which is going yes, to sir. help us, all of us, uh, in our day to day teaching and learning experience. So, thank you so much once again for coming out and sparing your 1.5 hours and empowering please us. Don't, 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 please, please don't be, uh, I mean, uh, so formal. But I am sorry, actually, I took 20 minutes extra of the session. I am sorry, it should have been finished in one hour. But then I thought that, you know, uh, if you're learning something, then whatever teachers are important, they should be. Gee, gee, gee. Right, ma'am. So thank you once again. And thanks to everyone for joining in. I've shared the feedback form link in the chat box. I have shared the certificate link. You can generate your certificates. And I've shared the, the web links of for various channels and handles of EF education. You can get associated with us for latest IT updates, latest webinars, recordings, and everything. So thank you so much. We're going to see you uh, most likely in the coming weekend. And thank you so wonderful. much, everyone, for being such a wonderful uh, audience. And thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Guneet, ma'am. Thank, thank you, Guneet, you, sir. You're welcome, Sima.